Like many of you, I have put down a ton of hours into Starfield already. Ever since early access, I'm well into about 60 hours played time now, and I wish that there were some things that I knew when I first started. So with this video, I'm going to give you guys my top 10 things that I wish I knew before playing Starfield. And just in case you were wondering, no, this isn't going to be a tips and tricks video like some people have been putting out where they only cover the things that everyone knows from the tutorial missions. I can't guarantee everything in this list is something that you guys don't know. However, I am confident that there are going to be a couple of these that you haven't thought of. So with that being said, let's get into it. Followers don't consume ammo. So like many Bethesda games before, your followers actually don't use ammo when they're shooting their weapons, so I would highly recommend you guys find your hardest hitting weapon and give it to your follower. However, the only caveat to this is that you do need to at least have one ammo type for that weapon on their character, otherwise they won't be able to use it. So in my situation, I just found a grenade launcher and found one of the ammo types and just gave it to my follower, and now she's just running around blowing everything up. Just be careful around her in close quarters and hallways because you will take explosive damage if you're standing near whatever she's trying to kill. You can display all of your missions all at once on the star map by pressing V in the mission tab. So this one is actually really cool because at default you can only track your missions one mission at a time. But if you actually go to the mission log and you hit V, at least for PC it's V, I don't know what the hotkey is for controller, you might need to look that up. But anyways, you hit that button and now it's going to automatically display every single location on the star map of where you need to go for all of your missions. This is a really awesome feature to use, especially if you're trying to figure out where to go and just, you know, make your traveling route for missions be a lot more efficient. You can rotate your ship while flying in one direction. So this one is actually really cool. I didn't know this was possible until I found some people talking about it online. So basically when you're flying in one direction, you hold down the space bar and keep holding it and then literally just turn your ship. Doing so will actually let you rotate your ship in pretty much any direction you want to go while still maintaining that momentum in the way you were going previously. This is especially useful in situations where you're getting chased by an enemy ship and you want to just whip it around and shoot at them. You don't need to use the map to fast travel. So this one's actually pretty cool when you are actually uh, warping back and forth between planets you don't always need to keep constantly opening up your map to warp or land or dock or anything like that. Instead, you can just basically hit the scan button and then highlight your cursor over the icon of wherever you want to go. And then you can choose between, you know, docking on a ship or landing on the planet or warping to another planet for that matter. Speaking of fast travel, don't fast travel everywhere. I know this might sound counterintuitive, but you're actually missing a lot of random encounters by fast traveling everywhere. When you guys are actually taking the time to manually, you know, warp out of planets and just warping into system by system, you're actually going to be having chances of running into like those random encounters. And honestly, it's a lot of fun running into some of these people. I found this one ship where this guy is like singing a sea shanty. It was, it was kind of hilarious, but Either way, there is a ton of content here that you guys are missing out on, so don't always try to just teleport everywhere. Have some fun and just go explore. So there is a safe that is in the lodge where Constellation is that has no capacity in it. So this is actually a really awesome place for you to literally just dump all of your junk that you can't have inside your cargo hold. Because granted, you know, cargo hold is limited based on your ship and all that stuff, but this safe is actually not. So I would say stockpile everything inside this safe and then that way you guys can just, you know, keep hoarding everything. However, it is not like the cargo hold in your ships, and if you're keeping resources in there for crafting, you're actually going to need to pull them out of that safe and have them on your character when you actually access those workbenches. For this next tip, I would say don't loot everything. I know that, you know, we've got years of Bethesda games where we've been kleptomaniacs, where we're literally just grabbing everything we possibly can so we can you know, store it and break it down for scrap to craft and you know, make better mods for our things. This game is not like that. And I know me personally, I am one of those guys, I try to just grab everything. However, you guys will figure out really early on is that your carry weight is actually pretty limited and it's going to be hard for you to really carry things. And uh, basically just micromanaging your inventory is a really important aspect of this game. And one thing I've noticed over time is that when it comes to figuring out what items to grab and what not to grab, I would say random junk and food items 
unless they're like an antique baseball bat or something just you know really expensive don't pick it up like the you know notepads uh, trays bottles of wine unless they're incredibly expensive you don't need to grab all that stuff items that are actually used for crafting materials will actually tell you what they are so I would just say look for that but don't grab everything so this next one is technically two but I figured I would just clump them together so the first part of this is that if you guys want to have access to new building modules for your ships you need to actually go to the different towns and talk to the ship technicians each of them have uh, their own kind of like set of modules to use and then on top of that, if you guys craft a large landing pad in one of your outposts, you'll actually have access to all the different brand uh, ship modules there. So that's a really easy way to have access to literally all the different brands for all the ship companies, which is actually a really cool thing to have. You can actually paint your ship all in one go instead of doing every module individually. The way that you do this is you first hold down left control and then you left click one module until it turns red. And then to highlight other modules, you're going to hold down left shift and left mouse and then drag your cursor across your ship until the selected module pieces get highlighted in red as well. And you just do this until all of the pieces are highlighted and then you hit J and then you start coloring everything. And for our last tip, I want to talk about mission boards. Mission boards are incredibly useful and they're going to be a really good source of experience and just money making. It doesn't really matter what activities you guys are going to be doing, but I would say that the bounty hunting and the hauling missions are probably going to be the most profitable and the quickest ones you guys can knock out. The nice thing about the mission boards is that the missions that pop up on there, they're all kind of like randomly generated and they're always going to refresh after time. So definitely make it a habit of checking out the mission board and picking up those missions. And that's where we're going to call it for tonight, boys. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more awesome Starfield content like this in the future. If you guys have any tips of your own, please let me know them in the comments section to help out your fellow gamers and just in general because I love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to watch my videos. I'm still solo and I'll see you guys in the next one.